This is the business portion of our aquaponics system. This is our Canvas business model. The strength of our aquaponics system is low maintenance cost to keep system running, lots of room for growing plants, lots of room to add more fish or change species of fish, can be innovated to be able to increase carrying capacity of plants. The weaknesses in our system, high cost for initial construction, takes time to make its money back, and it cannot connect a large solid material in the fish tank filter. Some opportunities to expand and grow. It would be easier when the price for plants is high, like, so we could sell them for more. When the cost of lumber and other materials is low, so we could construct our system at a lower price. And when the cost for buying small tilapia is also low. Threats. The only other threats to our system would be other aquaponics or hydroponic systems that can generate more revenue. And ideas. Add more rows of plants, such as kale, to the top on the grow bed. Grow duckweed for the in the fish tank so the fish can eat it. And then the cost of our system's construction. We spent ninety dollars on rolled roofing. We spent ninety more dollars on a six by twelve twin wall polycarbonate. Screws were twenty six dollars. A pump was fifty dollars. The PVC pipes were thirty dollars. Heaters were fifty five. The expanded clay belts were 120 because we used four bags at $30 each. We used one box sponge as a filter in our overflow pipe. One bulkhead connector. We used 10 tilapia in our system. One bag of fish food, which was $30. Net pots, which we had 15, so it's $7.50. Our one and one half foam board was $25. The staples were $5. The one and one half sheet of treated plywood was $25, the seeds were $2 per bag, our lumber was $143.21, and our total cost came around to $770.71. And to talk about the polycarbonate, we didn't implement this because it didn't work well with our plants. It made it too hot and humid to grow the plants we wanted to grow. The revenue of our system. The average income per month of romaine lettuce would be $30. The average income per month per plant of care would be $7.90. Average income for corn would be fifty cents per year. The average income for full year on tilapia would be ten dollars and fifty cents for each fish. Research on plant growth. We chose kale for our system after we researched that it is fast growing and easy to keep alive. Also in a greenhouse we have another system that grew kale fantastically. This is how the kale grew in the other system. We chose to use romaine lettuce as well because it is fast growing and works good in aquaponics. As you can see here, this is another aquaponic system in the greenhouse that grew romaine lettuce very well. Finally, we chose corn because we knew it was hard to grow, but we wanted to see if our system could grow it. Our action plan. First off, to construct a blueprint of the system. Second, show working model and construct system. Third, show that we can make a profit with our system. Four, pitch the idea to an aquaculture company and negotiate incomes of system. Five, plant the best growing and most profitable plants. 6. Sell plants and fish when mature and split the revenue. 7. Construct more working models of our system until a good profit can be made. And then this is a blueprint of our aquaponics system. This is a top view of our elevated grow bed. The overflow pipe is right here and this is a water line that waters all the plants up on the top. This is a top view of the fish tank floating raft system. It comes with 15 net pots. This is a water line that leads up from our pump. This is the overflow pipe coming down into our fish tank. This is a side view of our entire system. This is a water line that leads up and then into the grow bed. The water then seeps through all the rocks and goes down this overflow pipe back into our fish tank and on to the raft system. Our fish tank capacity is 127 gallons. It can hold up to 16 adult tilapia. Our pump can pump 500 gallons of water per hour. We have two levels for growing. We have a floating raft system that holds 15 plants in an elevated grow bed filled with expanded plate pellets. Then this was the business portion of the aquaponics project.